Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to finally after five months or so another video and today I have a topic that I'm like super super enthusiastic about and I'm so happy that I'm gonna film, film this video for you guys. Oh, I'm just so happy. Also, some of you might notice that my background has changed quite a bit and that is gonna be one of my next few videos is gonna be a room makeover slash room tour. So I changed my room in the past two months. It has been a total complete mess and um, yeah, I'm super happy with the result. So today I'll be talking about my favorite TV shows that I've been watching for quite some time. I started watching TV shows like one and a half years ago and yeah, a lot of series have been added to my list because I got Netflix like three months ago or something and I've been binge and I have been binge watching a lot, a lot, a lot of TV series. So on number seven, I have Mad Men. This is a series that I just started watching three weeks ago or something. It's about this advertising company called Ster uh, Sterling Cooper, I guess. Um, and we follow our main character named Don Draper. It's a TV series that is like based in the 60s, which is so cool. It's so awesome to, you know, see all of the old school stuff and people smoking all the time, people drinking all the time and having affairs all the time. It's so crazy and awesome because my grandpa is born in 1932. So I, when I watch Mad Men, I'm always like, oh my god, my grandpa was like their age in the 60s. I am loving this series so far. I'm season 2 episode 12 or 13, so I'm always going to start with season 3. So I'm really excited about this series. If you guys like a drama series, uh, if you like things that reference to the 60s and all that stuff, this is a series that I would recommend to you. Then on my number 6 is Orange is the New Black. So I started this series like 2 three months ago and it was so awesome. So I think that a lot of people already know what Orange is the New Black is about, but it's about Piper and we follow her uh, her story. She needs to go to a women prison somewhere in America, I'm not too sure. And it's just so funny. So this is again kind of like a drama series. You get to know everything about the prison and you see all these kind of relationships that Piper forms. I'm not too sure what to say about this series, but uh, it's just very funny. I have laughed like a lot of times in this series. Sometimes it's kind of gross, but I really, really like the drama and I like the things in the prison and it's just a lot of fun. I love the characters. Then my number five is American Horror Story and yeah, I have watched three seasons within three weeks. One thing, if you do not like dirty, gross things, you should not watch American Horror Story because it's so gross, guys. Oh my god, especially season two. I found that season two is like the worst, like with grossness. Like it's so gross, but it's so good. I'm kind of fascinated by horror stories. What American Horror Story does, which I think is super cool, is that every single season there's a different story, but they take kind of like the same main actors, which I love. I think it's so good. The actors are amazing. Jessica Lange, I think is how you pronounce her name, is so, so good. Sarah Paulson, I think is her name, and um, Evan Peters, of course, are my favorite. I love the way that they act. They are super good actors. Then on my number four is a series that is very special to me. It's the first TV show that I watched. Um, it is Lost, and I, guys, I love this series. It's so creative and it's so well thought of. And the one thing that I especially loved are the characters. Of course when a character died I really really cried because the episodes are like 15 minutes long and there are six seasons in total 118 episodes. So if you do not get attached to the characters and when you not cry when someone dies you are mentally ill. So Lost is about this group of people that are in a plane crash from Sydney to Los Angeles or something and they end up on an island. So they're basically crashed on this unknown island. Nobody has found them and all of these weird things are happening around them and it's very interesting. You find out you find out what happens on the island and what has happened on the island. <sighs> A lot of people didn't like the ending. I thought it was good because especially that last episode you saw something that happened in season one and I was like what? Somewhere around season three or four, I was like, okay, this is good. This is going a little bit too far. But when you keep on watching, you really find out that every single episode has been thought through. If you like mystery, if you like action, if you like a great 
cast of characters, great cast of actors, you should definitely watch Lost. Then my number three is Breaking Bad as no surprise, I guess, because on IMDb, which is International Movie Database, the site, Breaking Bad is the best rated TV series, I guess. It's It has like a 9.2 out of 10, which is crazy. I guess that you guys all know what Breaking Bad is about, but I'm still gonna give a little bit of a summary. It's about this chemistry teacher who gets lung cancer and he wants to make drugs. Uh, what was the drug that he made? Meth. He made meth, crystal meth. And he teams up with an old student of him, uh, Jesse Pinkman. I love Jesse. The chemistry teacher is Walter White. So Walter White and Jesse Pinkman are gonna make meth together. And that's basically what this whole series is about. And it's so good, honestly, guys. It's super action-packed. It's very, also like a mental series. Like, it does something to your mind, I guess. You get so attached to the characters. You also see the flaws in the characters, especially Walter. You should watch Breaking Bad. It is really awesome and you will have no regrets. I watched this series within a week and a half and there are 52 episodes, I believe. Each one of them is 50 minutes long. Yeah, but I didn't have any regrets, so go watch it. Then, oh, my number two, and this one is so funny. Modern Family. If you guys haven't heard of Modern Family, I mean, where have you been? It's like this awesome comedy series and I love it so much. The episodes are 20 minutes long each, so that's not very long. So you can watch a lot of them at a time. And my favorite character is Phil Dunphy. With Modern Family, you just follow this Modern Family. I'm not gonna explain how the family in Modern Family is like all connected to each other. You just have to look it up on the internet. But if you like funny, things go watch modern family all of my friends know what my number one tv show is my number one tv show of all time the walking dead i just oh this series this series i guess that everyone knows what the walking dead is about it's about this policeman called rick grams rick grams i can't do the southern accent he wakes up in a hospital and finds out that the apocalypse has happened. Basically, you follow his story from that point on. It is so action-packed. It's also kind of like horror-ish. I mean, the zombies are very scary and they are so gross sometimes. If you do not like gross moments, don't watch this series because the zombies are gross. I love the characters. The characters are my favorite thing. The reaction of every single person when I'm saying that The Walking Dead is my favorite TV show, they are all like, that's with zombies, right? I'm like, yes, but it's not all zombies. Like, the characters are amazing. My favorite character is Daryl, then Glenn, and I think Rick. Season 5 is my favorite. I think it's the best. I love the first half, and I really liked the second half. It's so good. It's so good. And every time that a new episode comes out, I'm just like, oh. <gasps> so happy so those are my favorite tv shows until so far if you guys want me to watch your favorite tv show leave it down in the comments below if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time